Good evening, all the wonderful ladies and gentlemen around the world. It's Monday night and 6 p.m. once again. You are listening to KVRX 91.7 FM. And I am back with you after a lovely spring break. And I hope that you had a lovely time. I'm your favorite host, Sadiq. And welcome to my talk show, Nostalgic with Sadiq. Firstly, I want to thank all of you for those lovely words that you have written in those several fan mails. Those words were really inspiring. And yes, dear listeners, my show is dedicated to all of you who take pride in recollecting childhood memories and treasure those wonderful moments of the past. Nostalgic with Sadiq is a celebration of nostalgia and to pay tribute to those golden days of our childhood we invite some wonderful people in our show. But today it's different because today we don't have one but two very special people in our show today. The two of these wonderful people are a couple and they have been extremely kind enough to come to my show and they were ready to share their experiences with us. Well, if I had to introduce them, I would say that he is from El Paso and he went to the Second World War and she is from Baltimore. But when they met, there was magic. 56 years, 4 children and 7 grandchildren later, I still see them smiling in front of me. To the world, they are Kitty and Alan or simply Mr. and Mrs. Dar. But to the people who really love them, they are none other than Nanny and Pop. Nanny and Pop, uh, it's my rare privilege to um, have you on my show as, the, um, as my guest of honor. This is a little token of welcome for you. Please accept this on our behalf. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so Nanny and Pop, 56 years of togetherness, more than half a century. I mean, how was the journey? It's been great. We just enjoy every morning, every, every night. All right. Couldn't be better. All right. So it has been a wonderful journey all throughout. It certainly has. All right. Um, Pop, to begin with you. Um, and let me say something. All right. Before we go on. Yeah. I always tell him, if I drop dead tomorrow, he never has to worry. It's not sad. It's oh. not sad. I want him to continue living his life because we have had such an absolutely wonderful life. Exactly. Truly. Yeah. And I know what I'm talking about because my sister died three years ago. Okay. And I see my brother-in-law really sad. I don't ever want that to happen. Exactly. We've had a perfect life. Exactly. Perfect. So you have nothing to repent? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm. Uh -huh. So you lived life to the yeah. brim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, Pop, um, uh, I'm really interested to know about your life. I mean, uh, you were um, born in El Paso. Yes. And tell us something about your uh, life as a child, especially the history behind your name, Hogger. And how did you get this name? How did I get this name, uh, Alan? Uh, my, my mother and father called me uh, AJ. Okay. And AJ, uh, I had a cousin by the name of AJ. All right. And when I was born, my dad came home and was talking to my uh, older brother. Right. And he says, well, AJ's here. And uh, my right. brother says, oh, my. He says, <laughs> AJ's here. He okay. says, did he bring his jackass? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, Manny, you're from Baltimore. And I've been to Baltimore um, in this... Um, this winter break and it's an amazing place I've been to the National Aquarium and I completely admire this place like how was growing up in Baltimore it was it was it was wonderful I, I of course it was my home and I, I loved it I went to uh, a private school there Mount St. Agnes and okay and uh, it was wonderful okay so living in Baltimore was a wonderful experience for yeah you. yeah right. for as long as we were there yeah. we we were there and well we were there all my teenage years we moved away when I was about 18 okay 
actually childhood is itself is such a wonderful time yeah. the most beautiful time of our lives and talking of childhood like um, it reminds me of siblings um Uh, Mr. Dar, uh, like, tell us something about your brothers and sisters. And I would like to tell my listeners that Pop's older sister is 95 years old, and his older brother turned 90 today. So, on behalf of KVR X 91.7 and Nostalgic with Sadik, we would love to wish him happy birthday. So, <laughs> tell us something about your siblings. Ah, uh, well, my uh, brother, uh, 90 years old, graduated from UT. Okay, really? Yes, wow. yes. Okay. And. Uh, After graduating from UT, he uh, went into the Navy, and this was World War II, yeah. and it became a commander. So okay. Okay. he had a okay. wonderful experience. Okay. He told me he says uh, that he was aboard this ship, and he uh, he mm -hmm. said uh, it was a uh, high high octane tanker. <laughs> okay. And he says, you know, he says if a bomb comes my way, I have to. I, I, if I see it, mm. he says I'm going to reach around and shake someone's hand and say, "I bet you a dollar I go higher than you." <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, talking about siblings, like, um, did you have a lot of fun with your brothers and sister? Oh yes, we used to uh, go on picnics, okay. go Indian arrowhead hunting, <laughs> okay. just have a wonderful go camping. time camping. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but uh, at the same time, did you have sibling rivalry with your brother and sister? Uh, no, no, not so. Uh, no. Okay, you really loved each other. Yeah, uh, it was we certainly sweet. did. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Now, Nanny, um, I know you have a sister called Patty, mm -hmm. and she's really famous in our friend circle because, like, Kelsey keeps on taking talking about <laughs> Patty, and there are so many stories uh, associated with um, Patty. Uh, is it true that you saved her life thrice? Yes, yes, I sure did. When I was uh, When I was six and she was three, we were playing uh, hide and go seek like kids okay. do. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, this, uh, there was an empty house close to us, and we were, we were trying to hide from whoever was it. Okay. And uh, the cellar window uh, uh, was open, and she was crawling through the window to, to hide in the cellar. And I was right behind her. We were—that's okay. where we were going to hide. And there was a man in there, oh. and he grabbed hold of her uh, okay. by her arms, okay. and and I saw him, okay. and I just grabbed hold of her legs, <laughs> and he was grabbing, <laughs> he was pulling in on one end, and I was pulling on the other end, and I yanked her out of there. So, oh. and we ran like blazes till we got home. And then the other time was when uh, my father was. Um, Stationed at, during World okay. War II, we were at Patuxent Naval Air Station, which is a uh, a test center for Navy pilots. Exactly. And we were everybody was standing there, and they they were doing these um, these tests uh, on their planes. Mm -hmm. And this one uh, uh, jet or whatever kind of plane it was was um, uh, diving, yeah. and and uh, he couldn't pull out of the dive, exactly. and he crashed. He crashed. Yeah. And Patty was frozen oh. in where where she was yeah and she was scared she was petrified oh. she just very close i can imagine yes. just standing there okay. and and i ran over and grabbed her and yanked her back and okay. the the plane exploded and oh. it just flames from one end to the other end okay. actually i think i saved her three times exactly. when she got married she wore my wedding dress okay. and my husband and i had been married six <laughs> months i knew it was three times and She had my wedding veil on, and she leaned over to blow out the candles on her on her wedding oh, cake, and the, the veil. veil caught on fire. Oh my God! And she had long, curly, she had beautiful, oh, naturally yeah. curly hair, exactly. and her ha hair, her veil was on fire, and I yanked the oh, veil no. off of her, off oh, her head, oh and, my God. and uh, and saved her. <laughs> <laughs> So three times. So three times, okay. yeah. And three times, I mean, equally important times. Absolutely. Okay. All, all of them. I loved her dearly. So I mean, talking of this, uh, this airplanes and uh, navy, it reminds me of uh, Mr. Dar actually. Like Mr. Dar, you, um, uh, you dropped out of high school and joined the navy at the age of 17, and you also went to the uh, World War. What happened when you went to school? Like, how was the experience? Well, I, I, I. Quit! I, I kind of fooled my mom. I said, uh, "Mom, I'm going to. I'm either going to join the. You were a the, senior. Uh, you were a senior yeah. in high school. Yeah, 
I was a senior and I told my mom, I said, uh, I'm either going into the Navy okay. or the Merchant Marine. Yeah. And I said, uh, I'll need your signature. Yeah. And she says, well, I won't sign for the Merchant Marine, but I will for the Navy. Okay. And so I went into the Navy. Okay. So uh, how was the experience like going to the Navy from a high school kid to going to uh, the Navy? How was the whole experience, the transition? The transition was that uh, I... Uh, from a boy to a man? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was pretty fast, yeah. Okay. But it you is, enjoyed the whole thing? Oh, I did. I, uh, I uh, enjoyed being in the service. I wouldn't want to do it again, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, um, now... Um, now, Nanny, tell us something about your parents. I'm told that your father uh, made some of the first TVs on the Eastern Seaboard, and he also worked with the one of Von Braun. Ye yes, uh, my father was an electrical engineer, and this was before World War uh, yeah. II. And uh, he had three radio stores of okay. his own, yeah. and uh, he was trying to make build a, a TV. Okay. And he had wires from one end of the uh, of our house to the other end. Okay. And, and uh, in, in fact, the neighbors turn, turned us in because they were sure we were going to blow up the neighborhood because he had all these wires going exactly. all over the place. And as a matter of fact, it still wasn't working. And I remember that my mother tripped oh, on one of the God. wires. And when oh. she tripped on the wire, she must have pulled it the right direction or something. Okay. I don't know, but the TV worked after that. Oh, <laughs> so, so his TV worked. <laughs> and, and that was, he had the first one uh, okay. that was working there. In Baltimore. In Baltimore. Okay, so those, uh, that was one of the first TVs in Baltimore. That he, he, as yeah. far as I know, yes. Okay. It was okay. on a green tube, a uh, okay. radar tube. Yeah, and uh, like green reminds of, reminds us of St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Both Nanny and Pops are wearing green and they're looking wonderful as couples. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pop, tell us something about um, about your father, who was also a railway engineer. And uh, tell us something about your father. Well, he was an engineer on the Texas Pacific Railroad. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, during Depression, he had to live in one town. Mm -hmm and work there and send his check home to my mom so we uh we did we did fairly well during the depression okay he he provided uh shoes on her feet and beans on the table all right so. all right um so pops like um your father was an engineer you also worked with a telephone company uh -huh. all right and like uh, i recall um that uh, kelsey told me that once what happened was that uh, you were estranged and uh, with all your equipment and there was a sandstorm and so can you tell oh, us something about goodness. that experience? Yeah, we were in a bad sandstorm coming back from Rio Dosa, New Mexico and uh, we had car trouble Okay. and uh, I shinnied up a pole uh, to get some help okay. and I got up there and I just hooked my headset onto the uh, okay. Uh, telephone wires and was able to call my brother-in-law and he was able to come out and get us okay. pull us in <laughs> which right. was good because we had a 10 month old baby and no formula oh okay <laughs> <laughs> well uh, this reminds me of like your childhood I mean you were born in um, uh, you were born in Baltimore mm -hmm. and then you shifted to El Paso that is where you met uh, Pop yeah, so but there was a lot in between. Oh, what was that? It's interesting. <laughs> in yeah. between. Yeah. <laughs> leaving there. Well, we when we left we left Baltimore when, um, like I say, when I was 18 and yeah. the World War II had started. We okay. went to Lansing, and uh, m uh, my father was uh, the chief inspector at at Novo Engine Company there in Lansing, and then from there, we went to Patuxent Naval Air Station where he was stationed, and then from there. <laughs> <laughs> We went, um, we, that was when we went to um, uh, White Sands, and um, we were at White Sands for years, I, I can't, don't remember exactly how many okay. years, but about three years later was when I met my husband and we got married. Okay, all right, uh, so is this, um, this was also the place where uh, uh, this, um, Patty taught you driving? Yeah, well after I got married, I still didn't know how to drive in <laughs> El Paso. 
El Paso, they didn't have any, any bus service where we lived. Okay. And um, uh, let's see what happened. Uh, well, I, Patty, Patty taught herself to drive. Okay. And, um, and I, my father tried to teach me, but I, I took the porch down. I, I didn't do very well backing or anything. So I didn't know how to drive. And then we got married and we had our first child. And I was, we lived in the lower valley and I didn't have any transportation. So my sister came down one day and she said, uh, uh, Dee Dee, you need to know how to drive. So she brought the car down and she, she taught me to drive in about, in about two days time. So okay. that's when I learned how to drive. That was pretty fast. Yeah, so well, I had to learn how to drive in a hurry. Okay, all right. But I never did learn how to park really. And when I went to get, go get my, my, um, my driver's license, the, the cop that I had was a really, really nice cop, okay. and, and I passed everything except the, the backing into the deal, <laughs> and he said, well, you know you can't, now they wouldn't do this today, yeah. Yeah. but he said, you know you can't park, so he says, I'm going to pass you, just don't park between cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. do that today. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Patty taught Nanny how to drive, and then with um, with Pop, it was a long journey, and the journey still continues. We'll be back with them in a moment, and you are listening to Nostalgic with Sadek on KVRX 91.7. Please, please, please don't go away. We have many more stories to share. Please come back as soon as possible. Thank you. Welcome back to Nostalgic with Sadek on KVRX 91.7. So Pop met Nanny and then the long journey began. Well, uh, this long journey reminds me of um, Pop uh, who went to San Francisco once and then it was very difficult for him to return. Uh, what happened, uh, Pop, if you could please tell us something about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to hitchhike back home. And, uh, On the no first place, why did you go to San Francisco? Oh, I drove my sister there and her husband was stationed in San Diego in the Navy and uh, she needed help getting out there okay. and so I, I drove, drove her out there and okay. I, uh, I hitchhiked back home. Uh, I, I, nobody had picked us up so we, we decided, well there's a train right <laughs> over there, what do you say? we? <laughs> We hopped that train, and we did, and we got all the way to El Paso. <laughs> well, that was an achievement. It was, of a, it was a hobo experience. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now the most important episode that I always wanted to know. Um, ever since Kelsey told me about you, like, how did you meet, and how was your first date and blind date? <laughs> how was it? Tell us something about that. Who me? Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> the lady. Uh, well, my sister had a crush on uh, uh, this boy that was at, worked in the office where she was, but he had a, a name of being a ladies man. So she okay. really didn't want to go out with him by herself. Okay. So she said, he kept asking her to go out with him. And so she said, okay, I'll, I'll go with you, but uh, you've got to bring somebody uh, okay. for my sister because okay. uh, I'm not going to go otherwise. And so he did, and that was Alan. Okay. And, um, <laughs> Uh, and and we went dancing, and I remember that uh, we we uh, we went to this uh, hotel in in uh, uh, Juarez, which was very famous. It was the place to go there w at, when we were dating. Okay. It was called the San Antonio. I think oh. it was the San Antonio Hotel. Wasn't it? Yeah, San Antonio. And they had a okay. dance roof on the on the, um, the rooftop. Top, the rooftop. Okay. And, and it was dark and I really couldn't see him so I really didn't know what he looked like or anything and, and uh, uh, when we got back home I kept I kept asking uh, Patty what did he look like what did he look like what 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 was he like and so, Patty, Patty kept telling me I don't know I was busy looking at George so it so, was literally so a it blind was, date it was really a blind <laughs> it really was a blind date and um, okay. um, and at the time, I had, was dating another guy by the name of, of Alan also, who went oh. by Al. But after <laughs> after I met Alan, okay. I liked him better yeah. than the other guy. <laughs> and so when the other guy would call, I told my sister or my mother, whichever one would answer the phone, I'd say, if it's Al, I'm not here. If it's Alan, <laughs> okay. uh, call me. Okay, <laughs> so that's fine. <what> <laughs> that was, that was uh, the beginning. 
Okay. So and how did it go ahead? It went beautifully. Okay. <laughs> so like then you go out for dinner and all. How was like, you know, the romance at that that point? Well, we time? went um we went uh on our second date, our second date, uh he came to get me and uh, he asked me if um I had ever been to um uh what was that place where the bats are? Oh, um, Carlsbad. Carlsbad. Carlsbad Caverns. Okay. And so I said no, I had never been there and and I I'd, I'd love to go. Okay. And my father said, uh, "Where are you going?" <laughs> and and he told him where and he says, "Well, that's uh, like 120 miles." No, you can't take my daughter 120 miles away. Yeah. And he said, "Well, Mr. Mr. Hodges, mm. which is my maiden name." Yes. He said he said uh, uh No matter where we go, we're going to have to go 100 miles unless we go to Juarez. There's nothing else that that's what we do here. Exactly. And so we did. We went to Carlsbad and and uh, and when we went there, my my memory is is of the ranger that kept trying to get it yeah. date with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, where she worked and everything. <laughs> the ranger did. So yeah. so but then after that our third date we went rabbit hunting. Oh, really? And when we went rabbit hunting, I wore suit, stockings, high heels, and <laughs> furs. And he never batted an eye <laughs> because you got to remember, I was from Baltimore, yeah. and he was well, blue jeans. I had never seen anybody in blue jeans. <laughs> you, and I had never worn pants. That you, was the other thing. You okay. don't go hunting in the in, desert. Yeah. <laughs> you don't go hunting in the <laughs> desert in high hills. Exactly. We didn't do too much hunting. <laughs> we we did. We did just fine. <laughs> All right. Um so I mean so if you you must have observed that the kind of dating that people do today it's completely different oh, from Oh, absolutely. Uh, how absolutely. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. Absolutely. It's terrible. We were we were like three three weeks away from getting married with having our ba- we're catholic and having our bands read in church and all yes. the rest of it and he brought me home late one night remember it was like two in yeah. the morning and my father was sitting on the porch mm-hmm. remember right now we've been married almost 50 you said 56 would be 56 years in june yes. yeah. and my father said my father said said she's not yours yet mm-hmm. remember exactly <laughs> she's You're not married yet. You don't ever bring her up at this hour. Oh, yeah. So no, things are different. Things, things are, are completely very different. different. Yes. All right. So and now you have four kids and seven grandchildren. How does it uh, feel like to see your kids grow up? Oh, I mean, wonderful. I know Zach for a long wonderful, time. Wonderful. Wonderful yeah. to see to see your grandchildren is 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 even it's not better than seeing your own children, but almost okay. almost it's because it's wonderful to see your yourself reproducing exactly. it, it is wonderful and um pop is it like uh, reliving uh, your childhood uh, when you look at your grandchildren like zack and others yeah. i i i pretty close yes very okay. close uh except the except you remember one time when kathy said about zack please don't tell him all those things you did when you were a boy yeah. when you were a boy <laughs> <laughs> because then then Zack would want to do them yeah. and and yeah. even with our even with our children our oldest like our sons would go out the Carlsbad highway on their bikes 50 miles yeah. and and you know we never thought anything about it it was fine okay but you, you can't, can't let your children now. go around the block now yeah, exactly So yeah, it's totally yeah, different. Things are different. Yeah. But talking about differences, uh, one important thing that I would like to know is that uh, how has you know fashion changed over the days? Oh, uh, fashion as in clothes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Has yeah. it changed? Do you think? It's changed, and then and then and then it goes back back to the old ways again. Yeah. Exactly. You know? It's retro. It does. Yeah. Uh huh. It 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 goes back and forth. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, Pop, can you tell us please about um, about the kind of music that you listened to on those days? Well, I uh, being from El Paso, I like country western. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's my favorite. Can you sing something for us? <laughs> And I, I can't sing worth darn. <laughs> anyway, um, I know uh, uh, Pop is a big fan of John Wayne. Which actor did you like? Clark Gable. Oh, really? Clark Gable. And in this day and age, George um what's his name? Clooney. Uh, Clooney. Clooney. George Clooney. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a great uh-huh. actor. I yeah. really, really love him. Yeah. All right. So, 
Pop and Nanny, it has been very exciting talking to you. But to make things all the more exciting for our listeners, we have a very interesting section in my show. It's called Fast Track on the Memory Lane. You know, uh, in this section, we are going to ask you some really quick questions about your childhood, and you would have to answer them really quickly. Okay, so Fast Track on the Memory Lane. All right. Uh, so Nanny, we are going to begin with you. Um, some questions about your childhood. Okay. So Nanny, who was your best friend as a child? A uh, girl by the name of Shirley Ryder. Are you in touch with her? No. All right. Uh, your biggest fear as a child? Uh, of not being no food. Okay. <laughs> because the depression was in yes. my time. Did you face that ever? Yes. Oh, yes. For years. Right. For years. Okay. Okay. Then food reminds of reminds me of food again. So, what was your favorite food as a child? Uh, chicken. Chicken uh -huh. and it still and is watermelon. Oh really? Uh huh. <laughs> Did you eat the whole watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Once I ate too much. <laughs> yeah. And so, do you really love chicken still? Do you still yes. Relish yes. chicken? Yeah. Okay. And what was your favorite color? Red. Uh, it still is. Yep. Yeah, but today we have to wear green. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And what was your most treasured toy as a child? Uh. Probably a doll. Okay. Shirley Temple doll, probably. Okay. Okay. Very well done, Nanny. Uh, now we come to Pop, and uh, we are going to ask you some really very quick questions about your childhood right now. Okay, Pop, tell us about your favorite cartoon character. My favorite character. Cartoon character. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, really? All right. And your best sports? Football. Okay. And who was your favorite football star? My favorite football star yeah. was a uh, the guy that played football up here at uh, UT okay. and uh, has a uh, rose, oh, yeah. rose garden. Oh uh -huh. yeah, the black Can guy. Yeah. Darren, do you know him? Who he's talking black about? guy. No. Uh, All right. Oh goodness. Earl. Uh, Earl. Earl Campbell. Yeah. Earl Campbell. Campbell. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Campbell. Okay. And um, your best actor, I know it's John Wayne. John Wayne. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> All right. And the best present that Santa ever gave you? Best present? I don't know. It was skates. Oh, roller skates. Yeah, we used to play hockey on roller skates. Okay, ice hockey. Well, like it. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. And what was your favorite food? Mexican food. Oh, you love Mexican, yeah? Any kind of Mexican food. All right. Okay, um, very well done, Nanny and Pops. This was indeed a great performance. But you know what? The tragedy of life is that all great things must come to an end. And we have almost come to the end of our show. And thank you so much, Nanny and Pop, for coming to our show and sharing those wonderful nostalgic moments. We have a little present for you. A teddy bear. A teddy bear. <laughs> Yeah, we have a very little present for you and um, this is from the whole team of KVRX 91.7 and Nostalgic with Sadik. And as long as you look at this, I hope this toy always reminds you about your childhood, about your time with, with Sir. And um, this is just a token of appreciation from the entire team of KVRX 91.7 and Nostalgic with Sadik. And before you go, I would just like you to say a few things to about our the young generation that's coming up is there any special message that you're going to love to give to your um, listeners yes 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 live every day to the fullest every day and okay. yesterday will be a fabulous memory yes. and tomorrow always a day to look forward to that, that's words. my motto yeah. Paul would you like to add something just uh, enjoy life Exactly. And uh, we certainly did. Yes. And still and don't do. waste it. Don't <laughs> waste your life. Yeah. Well, looking at you, I'm sure you had a wonderful life and many more days to go. And thank you so much for coming. And um, this is Sadik and Darren signing off from KVRX 91.7. You're listening to Nostalgic with Sadik. Thank you so much for being patient and listening to us. Stay tuned. Stay nostalgic. Thank you.